All right, welcome back to Ellen War. We're going to head to Jacob Henry's apartment, and uh, we're going to see what this guy has. If you missed out the last episode, be sure and violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, with my money, the broad keep the house looking like that. He probably deserved it. Skipper says bring him in to keep the hats off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BB killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Anyway, if you haven't seen the last episode, be sure and check that out. I got all the questions right. I just like to say that there. I got all the questions right. Um, I, I hope I can do the same this episode, maybe. Get all the questions right, that would be great. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Man, we're taking this guy in. We're gonna go ham on this guy. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's, We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I don't think it was him. I don't think it was him. Incidental. Okay. Let's check this place good and proper. Let's. What are we doing? Uh, all right. We get the draw. Oh shit. So it couldn't have been him because it was size eight at the. Is that everything? Okay. Um. Well, I guess we just talk from there. Okay. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. I'm going to use intuition on this. Right, so most say doubt. He's saying he doesn't know where she was. Uh, you know what, let's just go with the community. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic. 
with a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Don't blame me, I was just going with the majority of all. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her, we talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. I don't think because yeah things got a little bit of hand and she did say that he left and she went back inside uh, uh, well I just doubt him and how are we meant to believe that Jacob it isn't looking good for you that nosy bitch from next door Janie Horgan She'll tell you I left. <laughs> and what time? Shit, so he was telling the truth. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Oh, what about that note that you wrote, bitch? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. He was here all night. Um, what was I looking at there? So he, mm. You called the bar to give yourself an alibi. Then you went after her, beat her, and dumped her in a park. I think you are a sack of shit, Jacob. You're not gonna pin Celine's death on me. I'll take a lie detector test to prove it. I don't know if that's right. Sorry, my mistake. No, I don't think I have. Intuition again, let's go. Neighbor see you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, uh, man. Man, we done so well last episode. in and get a squad car dispatch and check for messages I'll keep old slugger here company oh, shit uh, well, that was a half-assed question here GPL. putting you through now Phelps batch 1247 
I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Right. You know the way. We can drive. And where exactly are we going? <sighs> we got off to a good start last episode. Got all the questions right, and then we only got one right. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. So we're going to have to interrogate this guy, bring him in, and then interview everyone, basically, and then probably just decide who's done it. I don't think it was a husband, I can't lie. It doesn't seem like it. Mendez, apartment 16. Ah, right, let's go and check this out. Third floor. Fifth, fourth floor, sorry. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. We got some running to do. Pertain to the case. This isn't going to mean anything. That isn't going to mean anything. Right. That's just one of the match pick things. This isn't what we're looking for. Optimistic call. Oh shit. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. I mean, the fact the lipstick's there, but look at the pipe, all the blood, kinda stands out. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We 
have the murder weapon. You better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Uh. You're gonna lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our way. Mendez, stop right there. I mean, that makes it kind of obvious that he's part, that he's a suspect. Because he's running, so he's obviously got something to hide. Somebody burst his tires. There you go. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Show me your hands. Okay. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. So we've got the interview, I think. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. <laughs> Brother would just deny the drink. The suspect is in the bag, even if he did leave Jacob sweating in Central Local. Well that's not my fault. My uh, my um my question wasn't very strong on that one but this video has been pretty short but i'm just going to end it here Un unfortunately it is pretty short but i don't want to start a new case and then have to like do half a case and half a case in one video so that's been pretty much everything guys apologies for the short video but i will carry on with this next week and i will see you then peace